Welcome to Kaiser Robot 64, a parody from Robot Code Developer of the Pokemon Monkey 1, 2, 3, who puts around the numerous advancements made in technical knowledge by the community. As Dr. Smart introduces us to the game and first Roblox, newcomers might expect a slightly different game from the original. Unlike these moves, however, normally to skip the tutorial, this experience requires use of obscure mechanics that don't have their own in-game tutorial to skip through or even speak of. This beginner's walkthrough, made by a lead Robot 64 glitch hunter, me, will show any type of person, mostly English speakers and native Texans, of how to get past the first three levels of Robot Hell. Now, wall sliding. Since this is a 3D platform, you should play wherever you want, whether that's doing wall slides to get the brunter or crouch diving to speed on this long corridor. This guide will show you the tricks used and those that are optional to get each ice cream that people may not be aware of and came to this video to find out. I apologize in advance if you find any segment boring since they are very long clips, most shown in full or sped up. For every IC, there will be a tricks used in the top left corner, and these are tricks that are optional or I use and employ to get these ICs. Uh, right here, this is inside corner climbing, it's you just go in turn around on the wall, go jump back, and then wall run again. Turn around, dive, and then just get up, you know. Right here, we're gonna be using wall slides. And this gray one in the back there, that's not wall slideable, so we have to actually employ the side walls here. So this is fall hopping, click, right there when we fall off, click, and that's um, a spin to get back on the wall right, at, right when we fall. That one's a bit easier than, um, and the intended strat as well, then this one I'm going to show you right here. This is called wit hopping. And it's basically where we need to face forward and hit, hit the wall as soon as possible. Jump off the wall as soon as possible and dive. Because dive, we need to be as straight as possible. If we're facing straight, we got it. we're going to see that later in the round anyways. So this is a dive camera clip and snap shoot to, for these first two ice creams in the hub. And you can get this nice cinematic of hub right now. You can't see the sign up above, I'm going to show you real quick here, and there's the sign we're going to get Snapshoot to. Now for the ICs that we're going to go for in the beginning is getting some water. You can look real hard and secret to the floor. We're going to peer into the secret of the floor right now with the dive camera clip. You just need a crouch, uh, just hit dive and then spam the pause and tilde button, the P and the, uh, the tilde button. And if you, in between those states, where you can get um, in the floor for like one frame. It's quite handy uh, to peer in things, but we have other options. Uh, you'll see actually that later in the run. You can look real hard, just back here behind the tree. Pretty simple, pretty simple. That's actually vanilla. I actually thought that wasn't when I originally played. Also, I would have gotten real mad at Poke if it was um, in a bush. So right now we're going to be going in between the camera mode. So snapshot right now, go back to the hitbox, goes back to Bebo back to the menu every time the pause menu is up we, it, the hitbox is there so we're just going in between those states and going in and out of water like that can give us a big giant boost if we're going up when we paused so hi welcome to space however i'll soon launch even higher bro how are you even gonna do that there's no more water to snapshoot it's a new glitch how does it work uh <laughs> that's abc and yeah, a little troller and uh our technical discord First uh, second ice cream, getting some water. That's about it for the hub. We're gonna get now the one underneath the hub. Just need to get to, um, so backflip, dive, spin, and jump off, spin back on. Pretty simple. Token cancel, respawn, manip, optional, pull death, and snapshot collision. So right now we're gonna take three batteries of damage on this manwog. Because we need to set up a checkpoint here, and we need to die. So, you set a checkpoint there by just waiting a bit there. Get open a token cancel menu. Now we need to go to the void, because the void will try to set a respawn point for us. So we cancel right before we hit the void. And then we dive, ground pound. During the game over cutscene, we can move because we just token canceled. And we hit the game over void, and that respawns us back to where we thought our checkpoint was, which was where we set in test. So we set it in test to be this location, and we now just keep respawning back, and now we can grab this ice cream with a nice dive. Hey, 
For total tops, we're going to start with the corner climb, wet hopping, and the optional fall hopping. For the you can um, the parkour, the first one. So this one will be uh, this is corner corner climbing right now. We just fall off the wall, spin back on. So we need to pull back like this and spin back on. It's a little like circular motion with the keys, so you get that. So this is wet hopping again. So we're gonna die. See how that die was so bad, but we, we corrected it by holding forward because we need to be 90 degrees to the wall to get it. So this is the tree. This is my favorite NPC in the entire game. Has collision, has snapshot. Sup. Apparently I'm supposed to race you. Uh, okay. So we just need to beat him to the, uh, the race the race pole. Very simple, pretty simple. This is, uh, that's uh, wall breaking where you hold crouch and you go a little bit less far when you wall jump. That's useful a little speed up. So right now we just did uncrouch and pause to uh, go up because if you um, pause during the, the race and uh, the race ends during during the pause it un unangers you lets you fly up whatever direction you were going in before pretty simple now we landed the portal uh, jetpack minimize corner climbing again n normal stuff or fly standing is an option it's just uh, minimize it's just, I have another video on it if you want to see that um, it's not even needed for this it's just nice <laughs> So we're going to spin uh, to get directly above it because these are really tiny. These are just super tiny. We do not want to touch the purple, so we want to be very careful. And this one's going to take a bit, but um, if you can see that we did some minimizes before, and we're going to see that again. And jetpack minimize is just... Um, mm, it's about, about a minim... It's about... A, Tricking the game to keep giving you the velocity, even though you didn't move, but uh, the the acceleration you're going to get thinks you're like going straight, you're holding down for the entire duration. And if you're holding up, it thinks, oh, you have nothing. You have no force like this right here. Oh, wait, I uh, didn't do there. Uh, let's see. Yeah, this one was a hard one. That one was a really hard, uh, hard firefly. Hard uh, ring to get, not firefly. We're going to do those later. There we go. That was the minimize again. So we just sped up just by holding down and while doing the minimize to trick the game to giving us all that free velocity. It's actually force, but no, you don't have to call it. You can call it acceleration force, whatever you want. Yep, just backflip, dive into this one. Just keep doing that until you get it. You want to be extra safe because if you hit the purple, uh, you actually go back to um before you have to you have to do the race again. You have to you just teleport you out. Basically, it's the exit portal. It's just super blocky. Now for the final one, um, I did get it. I didn't get it. <laughs> I didn't get this, but um, you get the point. Basically, it's just fire. It's just just flying around getting it. So here's soap, corner climb, optional soap and nips. Soap and nips just um, just uh, snapshotting to get away from the snope so it respawns in. I didn't do it. Um, just an option because soap uh, respawn detection dependent on where your MP, where your camera, where your hitbox that can be your camera is. So we just double. So basically here we um just do some nice ledge dives uh we want to go we can bail if we ever ever feel like we can't do it so double jump roll out basically what i do here is just double jump after a ledge roll out to um, get the furthest distance pretty consistent on the soap remember to set your checkpoint every time because we do you do not want to void out and have to respawn do the entire thing again yeah, you want to go to the corners of these planets, and if you miss this one, it's fine, but if you, the corners of the planets are the way to maximize your distance. Even if you have to do loops, it's it's better to be in the corners. Corner climb, corner climb. Pull back, and uh, spin, yeah, pretty simple. Fall off, spin back on, fall off, spin back on. Really useful. This is where you can do a mini flip. 
which is just backflip minimize and but I didn't have to do that I just did a backflip dive spin just precise here you can crouch underneath these or you can like minimize during them and you'll see that for like the final ice cream but um yeah here's the crouch I had to come back to show you but um yeah minimize is very powerful in this game so watch out for um needing to do that because it's only it's pc only uh which is not good uh so soap is is mobile friendly corner jumping is more, more mobile friendly basically um i'll tell you when it's not mobile friendly when it uses a lot of minimizes so just make sure you get these ledges because the ledges don't activate the soap and I made sure to make this gap so I get on the edge of that soap to do the double jump dive well out. So here I'm just going to position myself so that... Actually, I'm going to fall for like three times. Uh, where am I? Hmm. Yep, there's the first fall. Uh, you can skip like 10 seconds here because uh, we're only 20. Double jump, dive, roll out to get that perfect distance. Yeah, I want to go on that corner, so I just use the ledge to shimmy my way over to the corner, get on the planet, because you actually can't, if you'd miss that planet, you can't make it, even with corner climbing. You don't even make it to the wall. So there's the ice cream in the big soap world. And here we go for eggs. Now there's going to be eight eggs. This one right there since we couldn't get the one in the out of the water normally. There's one in this box here but we're going to use as a platform first. This is mobile friendly. I have done this on mobile. So right here we're going to spin and then pause and our spin hitbox is the same as our camera hitbox. So we're just going to get our camera there and just get it. It's called MPS. Um, it's used for a lot of things but it can get eggs and it can break boxes so it's very useful for this one. Get this one. Yep. Spin then pause. Don't spin and pause immediately because that will break the box underneath you and you need those to platform. I <laughs> keep missing this. Just nice, nice camera hitbox. Nip. So the camera needs to be overlapping with the egg so the hitbox hits it. Pretty simple. Grab this one. And there should be two more left. One at the very bottom and one in the ring. Here, uh, I try to token cancel this one, which is just cancel the token menu while grabbing it. Because it, it's going to fly up, and I don't really want to go back up. Too bad I miss it. And for this, I just speed up um, the return sequence. Which, for me, is just spinning up this, this slope very, very slowly. You have to be facing forward, too. So... I have to hold for it the entire time. Hold W. And then just hit this, this corner here. And you go up. There we go. Those eggs. Now this is Firefly Spinless Corner Climbing. We got Wall Breaking. We have Icy Warp. And Optional Sick Warp. Sick Warp is just re is um, a new new method of, ice of warping. Which is using a standalone ice cream. Or a... Uh, yeah, double grabbing an ice cream basically lets us pause and it on anchor as well as for the second IC animation. It might sound a little complicated, uh, but I don't do the further run, so you don't have to worry about it. Just useful. For, it's used in speed runs these days, though. So we grab that one very close to the portal. Grab this one on the on the tip, on the leg of the turtle. Now this one, now there's one in the bunny, and then there's one where um where Bert resides here. 
and um, he's uh, it's very hard. You have to you have to like just randomly get this with jumping and moving into the block because uh, it's very it's a very tiny uh, hitbox, but you can get it as you can see. There, there we go. Make sure not to fall off because each precious, each battery is precious. I mean, you can get the um, the park, the turtle tops parkour ice, uh, icy again to regen your batteries, but there's no other way to regen batteries in this game besides uh, those battery items and now these and also the ice creams because because um power ups don't even regen them. I'm just looking around because I kind of forgot where they were. Here's one. Now I actually did forgot to get the uh, the one in the sky right here. So what you want to do, I think you want to do this one first because it's the most reset heavy and you and it gives you the most retries if you mess this up because if you mess this up you can't do it. You have one try basically. So I leave the jar up here. Um, basically I need to fly into the sky with the icy warp again with the jar. So I talked to the tree, race really quick, and then I'm going to be grabbing the grabbing the pole, get away from the pole, grabbing the jar, uncrouch, and pause during that that movement upwards. And there we go, fly into the sky, pause, and now I need to land on that firefly there. You can double jump to make that a little bit easier. But make sure you like point it downward so you can see it clearly. Now there's one right here. It's gonna take a bit, but <laughs> I can't get this one. Can't can get on this platform. You want to hold crouch for uh, this corner climb. So this is a spinless corner climb, um, which is one without spins. You just need to do the revolving motion. So you do the W A to D, or just go around the control stick. So you circular circular movement and uh, you do that holding crouch and because if you hold crouch you actually go less farther less far away from the wall so you only need to pull back and then pull back on basically instead of like falling falling off because falling off is what you want to do every time so it, it lessens that so it's nice And, and that's still that's the same concept of wall breaking as just going less far off the wall because your airspeed's reduced. This was the last one where I got, and I don't think I'm gonna get this one. I forgot, but um, you just basically want to wall wall slide down down the wall to get in, then wall jump. I missed it. It's fine, but uh, this one. So this one I'm using. I'm going to be using lag and backflip minimize is an option for this. It's called just mini flip, just a really good mini flip can go this one. But the uh, the lag you see in the second portion. So right here you want to hop into that wall and then make sure you don't lose a lot of batteries because right now I have two batteries. So one more battery and uh, yeah, two, two batteries left. So right now I'm using lag and a lot of lag helped me with that clip. I took a lot of attempts, don't underestimate that right side uh, you can also mini flip but it's a very hard trick uh, so purple tower is not good for beginners I would say yeah I just turned my graphics to max that's all I did for this uh, that's called graphical attic and grab this I see don't be very careful not to roll run into the portal there so yeah you can also use the uh, the other edge other side. Now we're into naughties. And this is the very long one. So this is with guard drift. Uh, that's just something Poke found. It's just where you uh, like unpause, pause and unpause uh, while guard is anchored when he's captured you. It's pretty funny, but it's not useful. <laughs> but you can do it. Only here. So we need to go up this this slope here three times uh, for with one with each guard, and you want to get him to this edge. And if you want to follow, because he has to ri rise on the the least slope uh, steepest part. 
because that's what he can rise on and we have to use, we have to abuse his momentum to really carry him up this slope you can do this in main game this was why it's been done here it's just a tedious process of bringing this guard up with just shimmy him across Uh, at least deep part. So you're going to come up to this this uh, tippy top right here, uh, apex, to get him over the hump. He needs a uh, he needs some height. You see where these edges combine right there. So I'm going to get as close up there as possible. Make sure he has some running speed to get this to clear it All right here he's gonna try to clear it and he gets over it gets over it now make sure you uh if you get cart make sure you keep the guards attention because it will go back down to its home which is not the opposite away of the water so here you are there you are and there's the water you have to do that three times i'm not gonna do that three times you you get the point Nice batteries if you get caught. And it was splice. That's why they were, I took some damage before. I say I say nope. Now we're gonna do flowers here. So this is fast naughty. Oh this is not this is not flowers, this is the uh, guard. So right now we uh, talked to the guard and paused right immediately to back to hub because we need to go to this one place in test. So again we're gonna go to test that we use to get the uh, uh, we get to mirror, mirror IC underneath the stage. And we need to get the skateboard and do a trick on top of Scubus. So you have to right above his lips right here. And then we have to land. Got it. Score infinite. And now we have to run back. So the guy only count cares if we... Um, done it once and it doesn't matter where we do it and if we get the score during the time and then we have to talk back to him talk uh but well, we don't need to we have to keep the dialogue open we can't end this right now otherwise that restart the timer but it still counts because we're talking to him easy i see yes uh so this this one this one we're going to go to flowers now and so we're going to snap shoot. You're using the water. You can use corner climb. You can use any method to get up, really. Skateboard, and it really doesn't matter. So again, camera out of water, Bebo in water, Bebo going up, and you can go up. Some nice corner climb right here. And so right now we're going to be at the edge of this, and then long jump, dive, spin and you want to spin early because um, dive goes down pretty fast uh, long jump is better than a double jump it just goes farther um, the longer you're in the air more corner climbs and this one this one's some funny wit hops just just jump spin jump spin very very precise i know pokes gonna get mad at me when i show him this <laughs> There was another method of doing that because that's really hard to do with hopping up above. So we're going to set a respawn point right here. This is void out dives. Um, I'm going to do backflip minimize next after this. Void out here and then we're going to spam the dive. And during that we can uh, repeatedly dive in the air. Free, uh, free movement basically and that's how you get across. So here we're going to crouch, uncrouch. Uh, so that's the backflip in mind. That's a, a little bit hard to explain. Basically, we need to. Um, I have a video on this. I, I, <laughs> I forgot how to explain this, but uh, 
There's a video on how to do that. So this is the turnaround uh, jumps. You saw that for a sec. You just go around the wall and spin back. Spin around. It's easier than the wit hops. So this is uh, inside corner climb, anime minimize, spin camera clip, mini flip, token cancel. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff you can do here. Uh, we're going to use mostly just uh, conventional stuff here. So we're going to use um, some backflips uh, dive spins to get above him, to get onto him, because he's pretty high up and he never lands. The skateboards are really big. <laughs> I find that funny. You want to wait till he stops to ground pound him because spinning doesn't work. Uh, so the camera trick doesn't work. Camera pause trick. Or we can put our hitbox to the camera. Snapshot. And I landed on him and then just third hit win. Now we're not, uh, I mean, it's optional to get this IC right now because uh, in maze you can take a lot of damage, so it's optional. So make sure you leave yourself room to uh, to have that IC to regen your batteries. Now we're going to leave Naughty here because we need him for the black hole. Of course, he's an item, he counts. There's only a limited number of items in this. So there's a nice, nice uh, chomping dew coming out from the floor, and all the, all enemies in the maze is now, are now guards. Very fun. Just don't land, basically. So here, there's the item we're going to get from the maze to, for the black hole. I'm going to lure the guard out, because there's a guardian guard over there. Grab the IC. Now we're going to go back for the pot. Now there's no guards here, so we can just nice grab it. Now you don't really, if you're if you're not on the ground a lot during this, you can probably just get caught and um, go back to where your last checkpoint was. Pretty simple, like this. Well, I'm just just now outside the maze. Actually, I'm outside the uh, the black hole. I got confused just like right now. <laughs> So we're going to drop the pot off at the black hole. We're going to use some inside corner climbs here for the for the chomping dudes room. The chomping dudes are invisible, I'll show you later, but uh, we're just going to use some nice, nice wall mechanics here. So just turn around on the wall and jump back to the other one. So dive spin to get back. And there we go. There's the last item. The kubu in the corner tells you that the chomping dudes are, are like kind of invisible. So if you memorize the pattern from the original game, they're going to be right here, like right now. There you go. I, I took damage from the invisible chopping dude. So here is a... Uh, this is going to be anti minimize right now, so we're going to backflip. We're going to minimize and hit crouch um, jump. No, no, we, no. We just do um, minimize and then we do jump uh, during the minimize, and we hold it for like a second, and then um, release it. Basically, it's pretty simple. So we just do jump. I have another video on this. I'll link it if it's if it's confusing. Minimize jump and then. Then release after you unminimize. And your arms will have to be behind this wall. So that oh yeah, you we saw a spin camera clip. Sorry, I forgot to, forgot to mention that. Uh, that's just uh, spin and then pause real quickly because then the ground picks you back up and shoves you and shoves the camera down. And uh, that's basically it's just simple. Yeah. If you want an explanation on that, um, just comment down below. So here I'm just using some inside corner climbing to get over the wall because I couldn't get over the wall with the items because no spin. I mean, it is possible to do it with that with uh, the item, 
but uh, it's very, very hard with wit hops. Spinless wit hops <laughs> at that. I didn't name wit hop. Uh, my friends did because uh it used to be called single-sided wall hopping uh so it was really dumb so two items were already in the in the black hole and i just put the last two in you can't um so if you saw any troller percent you can't snapshot collision this guard this kubro here because there's a there's a little box around him unfortunate but um snapshot collision the NPCs while in the air will give you a little boost, so it's very nice to increase any increase infinite height as long as you can reach the NPC. Now in Candy Aquarium, uh, we can use Wit Launch and Skate Hopping for this one ice cream here. Now, Skate Launch, Wit Hop is Wit Launch is only PC because it uses a minimize. Um, for poke launch though, you can long jump, pause at the same time, then act, then unpause, activate skateboard, and jump. I have another video, I, I will link both in the description. Uh, one's, uh, poke launch is mobile friendly, so it is, so you can't do this on mobile. It's just very hard on that computer, so I prefer the wood launch here. So fall hopping, snapshoot, then there's an optional one that's insane with epic clip and boo boo snapshoot. I'm not going to explain that one, uh, the technical people can find, figure that one out, but it's very funny. Uh, so right now, I just did an under over, basically, and then click as soon as we hit the, um, you're going to see it again because I failed this one. I'm not close enough. So we need some, so there's some water there where we can, we can snap shoot, but I'm not close enough yet. They do two fall hops to get that water. So that's just a retry. If you don't touch, if you don't, if you only touch lava once, you can uh, retry this because you take lava damage in the void out. So, because then you don't have to do the first part again. So take lava damage. And then jump right underneath it and dive spin to get this. And now we did two fall hops and jump off. So I have some Y velocity, Y acceleration right now. So I can just snapshot mode to snap shoot up and grab this IC. I have collected these ICs before, so I'm just showing you how to do it. Again, wit launch, um, optional poke launch, skate hopping, and spinless. Skate hopping, uh, you'll see later in the run, uh, just right after this ice cream, I believe. Um, it's just infinite skateboard trick. Uh, now here, you just want to position yourself on the corner here, then do a little wit hop to get up. You can also skate hop to get up, but I like to do the fast route. So we have to just hit this Brento, just like the tutorial, we just throw this Brento out the box. And then we just need to gain a lot, to do some launches up to get this ice cream. Oh, right, right. No, it's for the eggs. I did the uh, skate hopping, right? Uh, for this one, I'm just going to do the, um, I'm going to do this. Gonna grab that one. It's really easy. That's probably the easiest ice cream in the entire game, honestly. If you know how to wit hop. So now we're gonna respawn right here and get the crabs. So we need to wit launch perfectly. Just time that like six seconds. You see the video, how the video length, how long I minimized for that. And we're gonna need to position ourselves right for the hole so we can snap shoot in for the last remainder distance. Because uh, these eggs still, so, so these crabs still have their ice cream. So I'm gonna need that. Now I'm speeding up the eggs, so this one's going to have a lot right now. Snapchat collision, skate hopping, wit launch. Again, token cancel is optional, always optional. With those cut, pesky, pesky cutscenes. So this is skate hopping. Basically, um, I don't need to fall off the wall with a corner. I can just pull back and the skateboard pulls off the wall and I can just spin back on. It's even easier than corner hopping. 
um, corner climbing. So there's an egg right here. Grab that. And now I'm going to position myself so that I will be exactly. Um, so I'm still I still gaining height because I'm I'm going into the wall with the wall run, but um, I'm positioning myself a little horizontally against it so I go a little further forward. Now we're going to go to the licorices to grab this other egg that you need to be over here to be to get. There it is. I'm not taking any risks here, so I just do some more skate hops. I did find this trick, which was pretty neat. I also found wood hopping if, if that wasn't apparent. So now we're going to get the remainder of the eggs. We're going to need to use this as a backboard, as a landing landing pad to go to the other zones. Do a nice lot launch up here. There's an egg there. You can kill that crab for the to count the total of crabs killed to get the IC, but eh, you need the other ones too, so you have to do the trick anyways. Barely don't fall off here and get the crab, get the eggs. The one up on here on the side here, another launch needed. Again, how long you hold minimizes how high is how high you go up. There is a max, so you can't abuse it forever infinitely. So I, I wouldn't say it's very mobile friendly, but I think it's possible. And we fall. You can token cancel so you can don't have to travel to the IC location. Now I just use wood launch to go to this area. Nice wood launch here can can get you here. You can't do this with poke launch, only wood launch can get here. Can can do this. Can do this routing. So now we're in now we do transit minimize, which is basically um the moving platform moves and we can minimize during that and it moves during the minimize so it avoids us. Uh, or you can just go to the inside of the lava, so you move faster than the outside. Because if the lava touches you, you know you, you have only uh, three. Ba you have only three batteries because you took damage even coming in. So there we go. I minimized so that it moved past me during the minimize and didn't touch. And I am spinning and pausing to grab the job using the the snapshot collision glitch. You could have done this in soap, but um, again, you can just crouch underneath that one. So I keep I keep losing job here because it's very hard to keep track of him. Make sure you know where you hit him too, because it takes eight hits and he's very light. There he is. Yeah, the snapshot collision will not damage you via lava, so you can just not worry about the lava during snap during pause. Trying to hit him like a like a soccer ball. Just weave out of in and out of these uh, spinning lava wheels, and it's pretty simple. Takes some getting used to, though, for sure. Always prioritize safety rather than uh, hitting the job. I was close to that one. You can you can go against the the reel if you if you use really good minimizes, but it's very risky. 
There we go. I saved myself another battery there. And now you have, to, you have to locate the IC inside the column here. It's very hard, so I had to pause to even see this. There it is. It's hollow, so you, yours won't be hollow if you're doing this for the first time. I grab it here, and then I leave. So now, if you see the window ratio here, right now my screen is very wide, and that's very lag friendly. Um, so you can uh, deal with a lot of lag that way, and it also slightly changes the game. So it's uh, takes a bit longer to run. I don't know. Uh, I I think it's a little bit of lag there, but it's a very it very helps when you, when you when you have running a bad game. So I see Dero use it in his runs. He's a speedrunner. More launchers. I thought that was a pretty smooth. Here, window ratio, lag, graphical lag, corner climbing, backflip, where I minimize fall hopping. Yeah, these are a lot of stuff you can do in these game in this game. Um, so here I'm just using lag because lag just extends your moves. It makes it so much easier to do these hard ass uh, moves here because these are very very hard normally. So I just lag it so it so I go farther. <laughs> And uh, yeah, so this one, this one's the hard one here. You want to do under, over, or you can go over with a with a nice minimize, backflip minimize. So here you can do void out dives. So this one, um, I didn't. I thought I can just lag, lag jump all the way here, and I can pretty simply. Lag mostly affects dives um, and power ups because those are really effective. Missed the first one here, so I didn't do any fall hopping, only corner climbing here, uh, which is why I put it as optional. But again, save yourself whenever you can. And that's the last I see for the tutorial. Uh, I'll do more if people want it. But thank you for watching. Bye. Inspired by those active or gone who collected 64 ice creams and didn't stop there.